In this video, I'll show you how to use the free app GIMP to make banners and channel art for any site, including popular sites like Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. You'll be able to use your choice of characters and backgrounds. We'll also cover adding text so that you can clearly see it on your banner. I'll make a few banners with these sites in mind so you can follow along and learn how to create one of your own with, for whatever site you want. If you need GIMP, you can get it for free from the link under this video. You'll want to install it and open it. You also want to gather pics for your banner to represent your profile, channel, or Twitter. You'll be able to arrange them in any way you want later, so collect pics you think you'd like to use now. For those last two, what I mean is if you're going to use anime and game character renders, I also recommend searching for backgrounds without people on them like this to put behind your character renders like this. There's thousands of backgrounds and character renders online to let you make an original banner with your choice of background and character. And there'll be some linked under this video as well. I'll make banners with streamers, reviewers, and YouTubers in mind. So open a new canvas and set your canvas height and width to the recommended size of your banner. You can get these recommended sizes off of Google or from the site itself. And if you can't find it through Google or the site where you want the banner, try right clicking a banner on the site and choosing inspect and then click the upper left tool in DevTools and hover over the banner to get the height and width dimensions. Let's start with the Twitter banner. Google is telling me these are the dimensions for our banner, so I enter it here. If you want, in the start, you can use the paint bucket tool to make the background a specific color first. So from here, we can start adding images onto the banner. You just drag them onto the banner and you can move them with the move tool in your toolbox on the left. And as you can see here, I made a banner with a render and the default color background. Those are always good, but let's try another image. You can add as many images as you want and also resize them with the scale tool on the left. You may have to jump between scale and move tools though as you get images right. Now, when you're adding images on top of each other, um, it helps to use the crop tool to crop your images on top so you can see more of the original image underneath. And you can use the guidelines to measure and align your picks too. Now, for YouTube banners and channel art, they want a really large image for TVs, even though a small portion is in the middle, is what most devices see. So I suggest dragging in a very large background and then moving guidelines towards the center like I do here.
and now you move your images and any renders you add and any text towards the center. This way, they'll show up on desktops and mobile devices while still looking good on TVs due to the large background. For text on your banners, I suggest using the Cool Text text generator to make text, and then you download it and drag it onto the banner just like you did with the other images. So let's make a banner for Twitch with the video game character we'd stream and then the text we want. So when you're finished, you go to Save As under File and save your project as an XCF file. And then you can return to it any time later and keep working on your banner. To export the banner so you can use it on a site, you go to Export As under File and export it as a PNG or JPEG file. This will make the banner based on what's currently on the canvas. And now you can upload it to any site you want. So let's first upload it to Twitter and then YouTube and Twitch.
Also, if you notice your images are blurry, it may be because they're too small, so try the Waifu 2X app so you can increase the size and quality of your pics. So good luck and share your banners with me because I do love to see them.